As mentioned in the last video, this video is going to be about excluded minors for outer planarity. <clears throat> so what we're looking for is a result of this type. A graph G is outer planar if and only if it does not contain some list of graphs as a minor. So for example, the corresponding result for planarity, just regular planarity, is that it's not allowed to have K5 or K33 as a minor, and only those two. Um, so we want a similar result for outer planarity. But first, let's just ex explore a little bit how this process works. Um, so at the end of the last video, we also saw that this was not outer planar, right? But we don't really have a good um, way to explain how this is an outer planar. We just sort of know that it is, <clears throat> which is why we're sort of after a result like this one. Okay, so we have a name for this graph. You may not recognize it exactly, but it is K23. Complete bipartite graph, right? Here is one set. And here, these other three vertices are the other set. All of these three vertices go to each of these two, right? And there are no edges between the two sets, or rather among uh, these two or these three. So this is K23, and it's not outer planar. <clears throat> But outer planar graphs are an ex they're a minor closed class, which means that anytime you take a minor of an outer planar graph, you get a new outer planar graph. And anytime you have a minor closed class, you can always characterize them by some list of excluded minors. That's part of Robertson and Seymour's um, graph minors project. So what we want to do is, as soon as we have identified something that's not outer planar, we want to take some minors of it and see if we can find a smaller graph that is not outer planar. Okay, because we're essentially looking for the minimum graphs, the sort of smallest graphs that we can get that have this property of being not outer planar. And when you get those smallest ones, they are the graphs that go on this list. So let's just take an example, um, sort of explore what happens with K23. Okay, so remember, our options for minors are we can delete vertices, we can delete edges, and we can contract edges. So we want to sort of exhaustively check all of those types of moves. So let's imagine, say, deleting V in this red graph. Then, remember, when we delete a vertex, right, we get rid of the vertex, and we also get rid of every edge associated with that vertex. So, we get this graph, and is this outer planar? Yes, it is. Okay, so this is outer planar. Okay, well, let's try a different minor move. Okay, so... <clears throat> It's not enough just to delete one vertex and say, okay, yeah, anytime I delete a vertex, I'll be fine. You have to consider deleting every single vertex. Or in this case, because we're dealing with K23, which is symmetric, we tried deleting one in the set of three. Now let's try deleting one in the set of two and see what happens. And so you can see, right, this one and these three edges are going to disappear, this is definitely going to be outer planar as well. Right, we're going to end up with this. So I'm just going to put a check for this is outer planar, right? Every vertex touches the infinite face. Every vertex touches the infinite face. Okay, so if we delete a vertex, no matter how we delete it, we're going to become outer planar. So it's minimal in that sense. Now we just have to check about deleting edges and contracting edges. So let's think about the purple graph. <clears throat> now, this every edge is the same as every other edge in this graph. Um, but what, what I mean is uh, it's symmetric. So we don't have to check every single possible deletion. We can just delete one. And whatever happens, that's going to be the same thing that happens for every single edge in this graph. So we delete this edge. And that's going to give us... this graph, which again, outer planar, right? Every single vertex is on the infinite face. There are no vertices sort of trapped on the inside like there is in K23. So then the last thing we have to check is contracting E. Contract E. So remember, we're going to sort of squeeze this edge up. So that's going to give us 
the square is unchanged. And then as this vertex gets dragged over to this one, this edge gets dragged up to the top. So we get something like this. Now, <clears throat> is this outer planar? Well, that's not an outer planar embedding, right? Because this vertex is still trapped in the middle. But we can redraw this. Like this, and now it certainly is outer planar. Right? <clears throat> okay, so that means that we started with K23, and no matter what kind of move we do to take a minor, we end up with something that's outer planar which means that K23 is on our list. This is an excluded minor. And this is how you go about finding excluded minors. You take something that you know doesn't have, doesn't fit in the class. So for example, we knew the graph we started with was not outer planar. And then you start looking at all its minors. And eventually you'll get down to some sort of smaller graphs such that any minor you take they are they sort of fall out of having that criteria that you want, which in this case was being not outer planar. So K23 is a sort of minimal graph that's not outer planar, so it's one of our excluded minors. And it turns out there's only one other one. So here's the result. A graph is outer planar if and only if it doesn't contain K23, that's the one we just went through, or K4 as a minor. And those are the only two. So let's just think about K4 very quickly. We're not going to go through this entire process like we did for K23, but this is one drawing of K4. And you can see, right, this is not outer planar, and there's not really going to be a good way to draw this so that it is outer planar, right? Um, and if you go through the process like we just went through above, that is try deleting a vertex, try deleting an edge, try contracting an edge, you'll see that this is also a sort of minimum bad example. And it turns out that these are the only two. So let's see how you use one of these results. So this is our equivalent to Wagner's theorem, right? We had Wagner's theorem, which says a graph, a graph is planar, if and only if it doesn't have K5 or K33 as a minor. And now we get this result, which says it's outer planar, if and only if it doesn't have K23 or K4 as a minor. So this is what a problem might look like if you're trying to use one of these results. Is the following graph outer planar? If it is, draw an outer planar embedding, right? Proof by picture is fine if the answer is yes. You just show me how it works. But if the answer is no, you have to justify your answer by finding an excluded minor. Okay, so we know the excluded minors that we're looking for in this case are K23 or K4. So we have to be able to find one of those as a minor here. Okay, now in this case, <clears throat> it's not very hard to do. So we've seen this graph before, um, so you may ask yourself what this is. This is K33. So it makes sense that, say I'm just going to delete V. Okay, so that's going to give me... Uh, this graph, right, because when I delete V, this vertex goes away, this edge, this edge, and this edge, they all go away. So that gives me this, which is actually K23. Um, so it may be harder to see um, exactly what's happening, but essentially if you take our old graph and you sort of turn... Um, you rotate this 90 degrees uh, and then move one of them, you can see that it ends up looking like this. Okay, so the answer is no, right? This graph in red is not outer planar. It contains K23 as a minor, right, via this process that we just went through, right? You just delete one of the vertices, you get K23. And that's plenty of justification, right? Now we don't have to sort of explain our thought process 
We don't have to explain, oh, well, you can try and draw it like this and you can try and draw it like that. We have a quick test for saying, oh, this has a specific excluded thing. It can't have the property I'm after. That's what an excluded minor result is. In this case, the specific thing is K23 or K4 and the property is being outer planar, right? So this graph is not outer planar because it has one of these. Just like if you were looking to tell if a graph is planar, you could say no if you find K33 or K5. So these are the excluded minors for outer planarity.